I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on trigonometry. Here is a very important test question. Let us see how to solve it. A regular octagon is inscribed inside a circle with radius of 10 centimeters. It has got two parts. Part A is to find its perimeter and part B is to find its area. You can always pause the video, answer this question and then look into my suggestions. Well, in an octagon, you can make eight triangles, right? So we'll find uh, each side with the help of these triangles. Now, if you look at uh, the central angle, this central angle, since there are eight triangles, and total is 360 degrees each angle here let me say angle is alpha in that case angle alpha is equal to 360 degrees divided by 8 right so that gives you 45 degrees so this angle alpha is 45 degrees we are given that the octagon is inscribed with a circle of radius 10 centimeters. That means the two sides of this triangle are 10 centimeters each. To find the perimeter, we need to find one of the sides of the octagon. We can multiply that by 8 to get the perimeter. So let the side length be A. Now we know two sides of a triangle with included angle. So that means I could use cosine law, right? So we know two sides and inscribed angle. So we could use cosine law to find the length of each side of the octagon. So A square will be equal to some of these two squares, which is 10 square plus 10 square minus 2 times 10 times 10 times cos of angle in between which is 45 degrees right so let's figure this out so a square is 10 square plus 10 square minus 2 times 10 times 10 times cos of 45 degrees that gives you 58.5786 so A will be square root of 58.57. So if I do square root of this answer, we get 6, 7.67, uh, we get 7.653, 653. So that becomes one of the sides, right? So therefore, perimeter will be 8 times A, so it will be 8 times 7.653 and let's multiply this by 8 to get our answer which is 61.22. Correct. So matching it is closest to option B which is 61 centimeters. So we get that the length of each side of this regular octagon is 61.22 centimeters clear so that is the part a oh, sorry length is uh, 7.63 i'm sorry perimeter is 67 so length is 7.653 each side is 7.653 centimeters now let's do part b where we need to find the area now area of the triangle is half base into height half of base times height so if you look at this triangle in that case let's uh, look into this triangle itself we know what base is we need to find the height of this triangle now so since it's an isosceles triangle so the altitude will divide the opposite side into equal parts now, this angle is 45. These angles will be how much? Well, you could find it uh, in different ways. One of the ways could be, 
let's call this angle as beta in that case beta the angle will be equal to 180 minus alpha right divided by 2 right in this case it be 180 minus 45 divided by 2 so which is equal to 180 minus 45 divided by 2 is equal to in decimals let's write this as 67.5 degrees right well otherwise also you could say that this whole angle is 135 and that is half of 135 right you could do that finding internal angle of an octagon regular octagon okay so we get this side angle now we can write the height let's say o is this right and let's say this point is p so the height op will be equal to what the height o to p will basically be sine of angle beta times 10 right will be 10 times sine of angle beta which is 67.5 so we know height we know base a which is 7.653 and there are eight such triangles correct so let's find the area so area of octagon will be eight times area of each triangle which is half of base a is 7.653 times the height which is 10 times sine of 67.5 degrees okay? so let's calculate this so we have 8 divided by 2 we'll multiply this by 7.653 times 10 times sine of 67.5 degrees right so that gives us answer of 282.8 right so that is the area of the triangle so 282.8 means close to b which is 283 centimeters square so that is how we could find the area of this octagon which is inscribed inside a circle with radius of 10 centimeters so I hope with this, all the steps are absolutely clear. Now this is a very important question from test point of view. Feel free to go through this video once again. I highly appreciate if you would make your suggestions, write comments and share my videos. Thanks for your time and all the best.